Hello. Good morning. There is literally nowhere, and that's the lowest my steering wheel goes. This is literally the best place in my new car to rest you guys, which this is annoying, but oh well, we'll just ignore that, try and ignore it anyway. I thought I would film a bit of a day in the life of vlog with me this morning. I've had a really nice, relaxed morning, just chilled, took Barney out for a nice dog walk. Tom's actually working from home today, or well, at least this morning into this afternoon. So. Um, he is looking after Barney whilst I have come to Manchester. So I'm actually coming in for a lovely lunch with Espar at King Street Townhouse and I'm booked in with Lydia. So um, a lot of you guys who were regular viewers back in the day when I used to do weekly vlogs, Lydia obviously featured a lot within those vlogs. So things are starting to open back up again blogger events are starting to happen again so it's been so nice to have been invited to this lunch with Espa. so i think it's like a botanical afternoon tea you'll see when we get there i know as much as you right now to be completely honest um but i pit stopped en route in to um a new sort of like shopping complex that i've never been to on the outskirts of manchester it's actually in salford and there is a cancer research charity shop that is a superstore so i'm sat right in front of it it's huge and i just recently did a charity shop vlog and it's been a while and a few of you guys who watch the charity shopping and the bargain hunting the thrifting kind of videos were really pleased to see that video come back so i thought well let's make a day of it today let's head on in via this shop so i think i'll film this within a whole video and like coming to a big superstore charity shop with me and do another charity shopping video vlog so for those of you that aren't really into the charity shopping then it's not really going to feature in this video so yeah stay tuned for that if you do want to see if i pick anything up and what it's actually like inside i had a really exciting delivery this morning which i'll show you guys when i get home later but for now i just wanted to come in check in and say hello say welcome to this vlog i'd love it if you subscribed if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you do want more vlogs because i definitely want to get back into the swing of things with vlogs um i'll give you a bit of a home update as well with regards to the renovations when i get back later as well so yeah i hope you enjoy coming along with me today and let's do some shopping and head into manchester and get some yummy lunch which i'm very excited for it's like 10 o'clock and i'm already hungry <laughs> I have just got so lucky with parking i was really worried about it being in a slightly bigger car i'm planning on well i was always planning on doing street parking just for two hours because that's the maximum you can do in manchester street parking and i was thinking oh please don't it be you know too far away from the the place that we're going king street townhouse because then that's going to eat into my time look where i'm parked literally right in front of king street townhouse which is so lucky so i've actually got 20 minutes before the um lunch starts before 12 o'clock um our appointment i just popped into 
boots beforehand and grabbed myself one of these sparkling lemonades only 11 calories and they taste really good you know when you see these like cloudy lemonades sparkly lemonades they're usually full of sugar well this isn't and it's delish so glad i picked up that right i might regret doing this because oh i also just picked up a carmex because i forgot to pack any like lip balm or lip gloss and the mask in the shop that i just went into just takes off all your makeup so um i picked up these now i'm not really like a lover of like fake nails i used to wear acrylics all the time like religiously and um they just killed my nails so then i started wearing gel then they kill my nails so i'm all natural oh natural at the minute and i saw these on offer buy one get one half price and they're about eight pounds each so one of them was like four pounds these ones i'm not gonna lie maybe like on an odd occasion i might wear these because they're quite long but i thought these looked really natural and i thought i could see about maybe trying these on now i don't know if it'll dry in time or i don't know how long they need to dry oh my god i'm struggling here i can't even get into it okay we're in so it comes with a little um pink gel nail glue and then all of the little individual nails this is going to be really awkward to vlog so maybe i'll just show you if i make them work what they end up looking like so these better than salon nude salon acrylic nude french so apparently they're really good because the bit towards the cuticle is quite thin so they look quite natural oh my god there's so many people and i'm just here putting on false nails so that is what they'll look like See a nice natural length like that, I just really like. Right, I'm gonna try and do this off camera. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just went cold. We're reunited on the vlog. Did we vlog last time we met? I don't think we did. No, we were in Manchester. Well, no, we didn't. No, Private obviously event. when we were in Manchester. Um, yes, I'm back with Lydia. I gave up on the nails. I was talking about in the car. I tried to. Um, get these like stick on nails from boots oh, I've seen them. and they, they were actually they look really good yeah. but I gave up because of time I literally oh. have two nails on and I thought they're just gonna be here any minute I'm just giving up it's gonna really judge you with two but and also I thought because upstairs they've said that there might be like a couple of treatments like, like a hand like massage, a hand massage and then a nail pings off because mm. it's not dry yet mm. so I gave up on the nails we'll do them maybe later on today um but yeah we have got the menu it looks delish this is like a last minute decision, wasn't it, to do this today? I mean, yeah, I'm having today, I'm well. today. Yeah, Lydia was like, oh, I can't come, I've got lunch out. And she's like, actually, it's now dinner. We've so I'm coming for time. lunch out as yeah, well. So I'm double whammy. Yeah. But it looks really nice. Doesn't it does look good. Sandwiches and little cakes. Some savoury bits, sweet bits, a little afternoon tea. We've I got a little really cocktail weird. coming. I'm on the vlog because I've not done it for so long. I, I know my like... arm is aching. I'm like, God, yeah. how did I how did I do this all the time? But anyway, we're gonna enjoy some lovely food and then we'll take you upstairs to maybe show you what little treats yeah. that we have. It's really nice and it smells really good. Yeah, they've got all the candles I burning love up the smell, there. I know. The smell is just there is on the white company candles, I think are strong. And Joe Malone. I've tried that Joe. Do you know as potent? Do you know what I don't rate? Three diffusers from the white company. They're not very mm, strong. No, you need them. But the spray. candles are really good. Yeah. Love a candle. I still like the look of a re diffuser though, so I still like Well, yeah. Honestly. I wouldn't say no. No. Um, so yeah, we're gonna enjoy some lovely food. I'm ready for food it. Drink. And well, she's driving. I'm not. <laughs> She's not. I'm walking. So I, get to I know. I had. I had to say, can I have an alcohol-free cocktail? Because oh, they've well. they've created this the Slingsbury rhubarb gin, rhubarb syrup, ginger puree, lemon juice, oh, lavender bitters, and egg white. And I'm just basically having a non-alcoholic gin. What's that brand that they do out non-alcoholic gin? Oh, so, um, to begin with, an S. No, no, that's they, they do not. It's it. similar branding to Sipsmith. Um, yeah, I know what you mean, but I can't think of it. Oh, yeah. I know 
If I go through the alphabet, I usually get an A, A, I should just Google it, because that would save you some time. <laughs> Give me the first letter. I'm typing too quickly that I'm not supposed to spell something. L? Oh, yeah, okay. It's L? A, it's an S. Oh, it is an S. It's not sip and then it's an E. Seed lip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know it's an S. That's funny. Anyway, hopefully it's seed lip because that's quite nice. Yeah. Well, it's good if you're driving and you want a gin and tonic. Yeah, you know? especially in a cocktail. Yeah, it just mixes it all together. I know. Anyway, yeah, and so. then you end up downing it, and if it's alcohol, you're like, Ooh. oh yeah. It's safe and sorry. I know. I keep on making the same mistake. I always let you back in when I begin to get myself to. a lovely little camper sesh with a spa and a beautiful lunch i'm all full up right now i'm just on route home and i've stopped via another little shopping complex and i've seen that there's a pet food superstore so i might go see i've never been in one of them before so i might go see if there's maybe a little something i can pick up for barney for a little treat for being a good champ being at home he's only probably been at home for maybe two hours by himself but for me that's like a big deal now so uh yeah i might see if there's a little treat in there like maybe a toy or some treats or something we'll have a look um but otherwise i just had to say fab event i'll show you what they have gifted us i haven't even looked in that bag yet so i'll show you what's in there when we get home where's my handsome boy hello Good boy, were you brave being here all by yourself? Yeah, woohoo, let's go out for wee then. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see you've taken this off the radiator. Yes, have you done that? <laughs> Come on then. And he's off. Go on then, you can go in the garden if you want. Let's go to the jungle. That is currently Barney. Come on. He has a little pen out here kind of explores outside of it but go on inside the pen <laughs> um but it just kind of keeps him a little bit contained because we've got like holes in the fences into the neighbors over there and it's obviously just very overgrown so I'm trying to cover him because he's having a wee <laughs> it's very overgrown and just I don't know we are gonna cut it all back and mow the lawn and try and trim back these hedges a little bit um especially around here where we do the washing but obviously it's a working progress. We've got all the scaffolding still up. And yeah, can't wait for that to be gone, to be honest. We've got windows in soon. So once they're in, there's just a couple of things that need to be done whilst the scaffolding's up. So we, once you pay for it, you've got it. So it's like, we might as well keep it up for as long as we need it. Get it, I've got you a new toy. Yes, I have. So for the meantime, we're just kind of making do, but yeah, it's a little bit overgrown this garden right now. So it'd be nice to have it all cut back and at least this grass done so that he can have a good run around and play in here because he loves being outside. He's like desperate to be outside all the time, which is nice. Um, I just can't wait for the day that we can open the doors on the extension and it all just be like landscaped, safe and secure. And I know that there's nowhere he can escape to. <sighs> one day soon i'm gonna look back at this video in the future and think that's us today bunny you coming back inside or should we stay out here for a bit i might finish my book out here i've got a little bit left to to read i'll show you in fact which book i'm actually reading it's called someone we know are you coming i might just stay in the garden for a bit oh no he's coming <laughs> I've got you a treat, Barney. <gasps> yes, I have. You can go inside and I'll show you what it is. I've got you a treat. I picked up this from our walks because I'm rubbish at throwing balls. And to be honest, at the minute, he prefers to play with other, dog, other 
dog, so I've got a bit to hang my then. Anyway, what's this? And then um got some dental sticks, dental fresh chews that we give in most days. I got this toy, which does have a squeaker in it. I thought this would be quite good outside because it feels quite durable. And it's like a duck, in it? This is what you're bred to retrieve these sort of things. Ready? Catch. Yeah, like. And then I also got him a cow's ear, which you probably don't want to see because it's not the most appealing sight. In fact, let me get my air spa bits. I'm intrigued to see what they very kindly gifted us at the event. First of all, this little box, which was so cute after the um, afternoon tea, they gave us this and it has a couple of chocolates in it. I have already opened it. A couple of chocolates, a restorative herbal tea, and then also a little mini in there. It's an Optimal Skin Pro Serum. Oh, it's warm, isn't it, Barney? Google, what's the temperature today in Manchester? Today in Manchester, expect a high of 21 and a low of 9. 21, nice. Okay, so then also in this little bag, we've got a little gift card. Thank you so much for joining us at Botanical Afternoon Tea. It was in collaboration with Manchester Flower Show, so there were flowers everywhere. It was beautiful. And we've also got a code, Freya15. If you want 15% off, you guys can use that. Oh my goodness, there's so much goodies in here. So we've got an optimal Body Tri Serum Energizing Atmosphere Mist. I'm gonna use this now. Is that your new toy? <laughs> good shake well before gently misting onto your body the air or linens so this is good you can use it on like fabrics as well oh my goodness that smells insane i love the smell of Espar products quite minty fresh but also a bit like spa like i love Honestly, as far as one of my faves. Uh, and then we also have the Optimal Skin Pro Serum, Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser, Overnight Glow Enzyme Peel, and Optimal Skin Instant Facial. Ooh, Clean and Green Detox Mask. This is a tea caddy with, fi with 15 biodegradable tea pyramids to soothe and relax. So if ever you've been to like an S spa, spa, they quite often will give you like a herbal tea afterwards, which is so nice. So this is a little, S bar teapot full of tea bags. Thank you so much to S bar for having us. It was lovely to experience a bit of normality in this crazy times that we're living in. It was just perfect, so thank you. Ooh, yes! Woo! I always just spritz him down just to get him nice and cool. Oh, hi. Oh, you're a wet dog. He's got a different toy now. Um, my dad, my dad did just change into some cycle shorts, oversized tee, just to come outside and read this book because that Zara white dress was going to get filthy. So this is the book that I'm reading. Sherry Le Pena, someone we know. I've read the couple next door and really liked it. This is how far I am. I've got maybe a quarter left, maybe under a quarter. And then just have a quick look at my emails that I've missed as well. I'll just go through them on my phone whilst I've been out this morning. So yeah, that is us for the next little while. And I've still got some more PR bits that I want to show you later on. I might even treat myself to Mackie's tonight, seeing as though Tom's at cricket. Whew, it is hot. So I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of the madness that we're currently living in. If you're keeping up to date with our renovations vlogs, then you're aware. But we've been back to brick and without a bathroom for however long. So we've pretty much been living out of this front room with the kitchen. This is our current hallway, absolute mess. That's pretty much all storage and like our wardrobe, crazy madness. A be bedroom at the back and our spare mattress. Oh my God, I can't speak. Our spare mattress is just in there, just propped up for now. Just keeping away from the dust. And this is the madness we're living in. So we're renovating the top two floors if you are new to this channel. And we have literally been taking it back to brick. We've still got all the plasterboards to go on. It's just an overview. This is going to be the bathroom. The nice big walk-in shower here. This is going to be my filming room, which is so exciting. Then through here, we have the bedroom. The master bedroom 
which we're actually not going to add an ensuite and we're just going to keep it nice and open. Nice big seating area over there, chest of drawers here, panelling, maybe some artwork or mirror on that wall and then we've had the electrics done for the light switches, side lights there and there for the bed to go here in the middle. Wardrobe's built in there and there. Then in here will be a spare bedroom with an ensuite. That's the ensuite to this spare room. And then the top floor, oh, it's warm up here. We've opened it up to a big room. All our taps and everything have been delivered and are patiently waiting. This is gonna be an ensuite. This is gonna be like a nice walk-in area. That's gonna be Eve's storage. And then this part will all be open like bedroom in the future but initially Tom's wardrobe slash office and everything and then loads of wardrobes there. So that's a little house update. Madness. Then once we've moved upstairs we'll be able to start renovating downstairs. We won't fully wait till it's finished upstairs we'll just wait until it's all like skimmed and ready for us to move up here and use the bathroom and everything so we can get cracking on downstairs then we'll have to move all of this storage stuff and empty the basement out into the top two floors so that they're ready to be renovated. That was fun, wasn't it, Barney? Played with his new ball thrower. Look at his face. And he still preferred playing with the doggies, didn't you? He's getting to that age, six months getting very friendly which is just fun to have to chase you around watch you're playing with other dogs playing a bit too friendly there's a treat there you go right we're gonna go on a little road trip to a mcdonald's drive through <sighs> excited i fancy a big milkshake I said that you're on, please. Hi there, please can I get a cheeseburger with no pickle? Cheeseburger, no pickle, yeah. A portion of the cheese and herb melts. Yeah. The, what's the smallest amount of chicken nuggets you do? Is it six? Six, yeah, six, nine and Six nuggets and a regular vanilla milkshake, please. Is that everything? Um, no, can I get some fries, just like medium fries? Yeah. That's it. No, thank you. No worries. Just like Thanks. Thank you. Yum. By the way, the chicken nuggets are for Barney. Maybe I'll have one or two. I can put them on his dinner when we get back. It's so funny watching people in the cars behind. Be like, oh, look at the puppy. Thanks a lot. I don't know what you're getting excited for. You're not eating your chicken nuggets until we get back home. Oh, you got to suck so hard sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to put on... Uh, why is this not working? There we go. Do you know what I've been watching recently? Catching up on old seasons of Love Island. For some reason, why is this not working? There we go. Oh yeah, we watched that last night as well, Joker. That was really good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to just binging the new season of, not even binging, because it's on every night. You actually have to kind of wait each night, which is a bit annoying, but I'm just binging the old, one of the old seasons of Love Island. I'm actually watching season four. So it's the one with Megan, Wes, Eyal, Dr. Alex. That's the season that I'm on. So I'm actually quite far down. They're on like their last dates. But it's on ITV Hub if you um, fancy a binge of something. Oh yes, it's the one where the parents come in. This lit, this always makes me cry this bit. Oh, yeah. The Islanders face an emotional decision. Who do you want to dump? I feel like my face has just got more and more disheveled, disheveled, 
throughout the day. I don't know if this is great lighting. I thought I would just share with you and kind of finish off this vlog just showing you a couple of new in PR bits that I did mention that I was going to show you. So let's grab this pile of goodness and bring it over here. In fact, I'm going to start with the one that uh, arrived first and the one that I was definitely most excited for. Well, I don't know what the other ones are, but the gorgeous Gemma here on YouTube. If you haven't already seen it, Gemma Miles has created her own brand, Girl of Muse, which is just incredible. The aesthetic, the branding, the clothing, because I have had a sneaky peek inside, is such great quality and just, she's nailed it. So I thought I would share with you what she sent out in the PR packages. So obviously, first and foremost, the actual box itself is definitely a keeper. It has Girl of Muse embossed on the front and then double ribbon with the little beige and cream, which you guys know is very my aesthetic. And then, I, I mean, it's definitely not as neat as when it arrived, but a little note here on the front, the branding, ugh, that font and everything, love it. So um, it just came all tissue wrapped beautifully with a nice little sticker on the front and then we have, I think it's one of every item that we've got included. Shorts, hoodie, t-shirt and a little crop top. She sent me the t-shirt in the taupe dreams, has the girl of muse there on the front and then the little quote on the back. I'm going to do a more in-depth, not review, but like show you, try on and everything like that within an influencer collaborations and brands review video that i'm thinking about doing and then we've got a little crop top with the little branding on as well so thick and such great quality I'm so impressed all the like hardware and everything oh my god it's even got girl and muse on that love so some really nice high-waisted shorts these are in a medium everything's in medium and then this is the hoodie so it's i'd say like an oversized fit anyway so i'd just say, say Stay true, oh God, I can't speak today. Stay true to size. So yeah, I'll do a try on of all of these bits. The color of this set is in white sands. And then I believe she has like a chocolatey color as well. And great for mix and matching. I'm thinking about getting the set, the shorts in particular, in like a chocolate brown, because I know I'm gonna live in these shorts throughout summer. And I just think even around the garden and stuff, I'm gonna live in them. So. Um, I think I might purchase the chocolate brown one as well. So generous. So thank you to Gemma for sending me that little PR box. And then I also got sent this from Glossy Box today. So I'm assuming this is the July box. <gasps> Some trusty faves in here for me. Are you helping me unbox it? We have a Batiste dry shampoo. Love dry shampoo. This is a good little handbag size as well. And this is in Flirty Floral. I've never had that one. And then Michelin Peach Body Oil English Leaf. I love their branding and their products. Oh, we've got some Taylors of Harrogate coffee bags. We've got a Nip and Fab Vitamin C Scrub. From the Beauty Crop, a We Sherry pH Changing Hydrating Lip Oil. And then again, another hero product of mine, Garnier Micellar Water. I use that every day to remove the bulk of my makeup before going with a second cleanse. This is from L'Oreal Paris. It's a new plumping lip gloss and then you can use the code 20 gloss for 20% off your order And they've actually sent me shade number one saw really pretty pink color with a little pink chubba chubba Oh, no chubba chubs. I always called them chubba chubba Lolly who was that person in the club that used to buy one of these in the toilet because that was definitely me And then last but not least we have a package from Ro and Zoe which is a concession. I believe it's opened up in the John Lewis in the traffic center. I don't know if there's any more, but they are online. Made with sustainably sourced viscose relaxed jersey jumpsuit in a UK 12. That's the brand, Rowan Zoe. But I decided to opt for this from their website. I could pick out an item just because I know how much use I'm gonna get out of something like this. It's pocketed, it's got a tie waist that you can cinch in, it's black so it's simple, minimal, neutral and quite like a good colour you know to wear in the garden. Like for instance today when I've been sat in the garden I don't want to be wearing a white dress because it's just going to get ruined and I've noticed a lot of my maxi dresses or longer dresses are white so I wanted something that was full length, hence Barney. There's really nothing else I'm gonna be doing tonight other than taking my makeup off, carrying on binging some Love Island, maybe put on some YouTube, 
put my feet up, chill, have cuddles with Barney. Look at him falling asleep. This is the cutest thing when he does this. He goes to sleep cuddling his toy. Well, like sucking it. Oh, so cute. What a mood. <laughs> And then I've just got some general tidying up to do. I've made a bit of a mess showing you all these goodies that I've been sent. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more vlogs like this. And especially as we're doing more events potentially. I think it's fun to bring you guys along with me. So let me know if you are a fan and if you want me to carry on doing these. And I hope you will have a lovely rest of your day. Whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.